Okay, so today we're going to figure out how to solve these ratio word problems. Here I have a problem. I'm going to read it through and then annotate before I even do anything. I want to make sure to circle all my important information and underline my main question. So, a bookstore was selling five books for $27.25. On Amazon.com, you could buy six books for $32.16. Which place has a lower unit price? My big, my big vocabulary word here is unit price. That means I'm getting one of something. I'm going to annotate as I read it again. A bookstore was selling five books for $27.25. On Amazon, I'm going to do that one in a different shape to make sure I have a distinction. On Amazon.com, you could buy six books for $32.16. Which place has the lower unit price? When I see unit price, I know I'm going to be dividing. So I set up my fractions. Money always goes on top, so I have so I have twenty-seven dollars and twenty-five cents for five books, and I have my other one. I have six books for thirty-two dollars and sixteen cents. Now I need to figure out which one has the has the lower unit price. So my calculator, I divide twenty-seven dollars and 25 cents divided by five that equals five dollars and 45 cents for one book my other one on Amazon is thirty two dollars and sixteen cents divided by six books that's going to be five dollars and thirty six cents for one book I can see from here that the bookstore has a higher price than Amazon, so Amazon has the lower unit price. Now, there are other problems we can solve with this. Next one says, at the bookstore, beef jerky was, 30, was $73.70 for five pounds. If you bought seven pounds, how much would it cost? So, the way I'm going to solve this, I'm going to go down to find my unit price, and then back up to apply it to my new amount. I'm going to annotate now. At the store, beef jerky was $73.70 for five pounds. If you bought seven pounds, how much would it cost? So my process, I'm going to put money on top for five pounds. That's $73.70 for five pounds. I'm going to go down to one pound and then back up to seven pounds. To go down in ratios, I have to divide. To go up, I have to multiply. Now, how do I get from 5 to 1? I divide by 5 to get from 5 to 1. And whatever I do in the bottom, I also need to apply to the top. So, $73.70 divided by 5 is $14.74 for 1 pound. But that's not what it's asking. It's asking if you bought seven pounds, how much would it cost? So I now have to apply my new amount. This is one times seven. Wherever I do the bottom, I have to do the top. One times seven is seven. 1474 times seven is $103.18 for seven pounds. So my answer will be $103.18 for seven pounds. That's how you solve your two, your two big unit price problems. I'll be, I'll be recording more videos throughout this as my first one. Hopefully it helped. Thanks.